Legumes and cash and cover crops use natural symbiotic relationships with soil microbes to get nitrogen into the soil. NC State University's Dr. Julie Grossman is working to provide farmers with new insights on how to harness this resource. My work really involves looking at legumes to try to figure out how we can really make them, make them the most efficient nitrogen source we possibly can by looking at the microbial component of the legume rhizobia symbiosis. Now, we work a lot with, with organic farmers simply because right now that's, those are the farmers who are really interested in using legumes for nitrogen supply. As nitrogen prices go up, we're gonna to need to turn to some of these alternative processes such as nitrogen fixation. And when that happens, we need to be able to hit the ground running. We can't say, oh, okay, now we're gonna start doing the research. We really wanna to get to know how, when you take a, ba a bacteria, a strain of bacteria, and you look at its DNA, how does it differ from other strains of bacteria? Okay. Because you can have some that are very high performers and they fix a lot of nitrogen, and you can have others that don't really do a heck of a lot for the plant. In my mind, what would really help the farmers is trying to understand the tools they can use as farmers to help increase nutrient, nu nutrient supply to their crop plants. So try to figure out how, how much nitrogen is supplied when they put a legume in the soil and let it decompose, how, that, re how is, that is released, when it's released, how we can get more nitrogen into the legume by enhancing the fixation ability of the microbes. So all these little pieces will help us be able to help farmers develop their own research, their own experimentation, so they don't need to rely on the recipes. They can say, oh, I know that if I can calculate a, a square meter of legume biomass and I can calculate how much I have and how much nitrogen is in that square, I can then figure out on my whole field how much nitrogen is being added through this legume to my, to my soil. And so those are the kinds of things I really want to give to farmers in terms of having them understand how they can control their own, these, their biological processes in their field on their own and not have to rely on recipes.